Remind us that, like Mary, each one of us is a barrier of your good news. We are called to proclaim hope, peace, joy, and love in your name. Open our hearts and our spirits today to receive with great joy the love that you have for us. For we ask in this in Jesus' name, amen. Let us worship God. Oh, thank you, Alejandro. It's good to have you home, and it's good to have you in the leadership position in worship as our pulpit assistant today. We continue worship now, joining our hearts and our minds in our prayer of confession. Jesus, our Lord, came into an indifferent world, yet his life revealed the inner thoughts of many. Let us confess our shortcomings before God and one another, that we may receive release from our sin. We join our voices. Lord Jesus Christ, you are loving and merciful. Forgive us for being so captivated by Christmas that we forget that you, the little baby in the manger, grew up as the Lord over all creation. It is sometimes easier to leave you in the manger than it is to reckon with your difficult teachings and fierce challenges. So often we do not follow these teachings and we do not live up to your challenges. We need your grace and your strength to follow you more closely. Forgive us for all of our sins as we continue to pray in silence. In Jesus' name, amen. Hear the good news of the gospel. God has broken into our world our broken world, and saved us from ourselves. With God's help, we are now able to put on clothes of righteousness and justice. In the name of Jesus Christ, we are forgiven. Alleluia. Amen. Praise God from whom all blessings flow. Praise God. 
from gelatines chapter 4 verses 4 to 7 but when the fulfillment of the time came God sent his son born through a woman and born under the law this was so he could redeem, redeem those under the law so that we could be adopted because you are sons and daughters God sent the spirit of his son into our hearts crying Abba father Therefore, you are no longer a slave, but a son or a daughter. And if you are his child, then you are also an, an heir to God. Holy wisdom, holy word. There was a commercial a long time ago for the lottery. The commercial said you have to play 
to win. You have to play to win. Or said another way, you have to engage to win. Or said still another way, you have to participate to win. In other words, before you could get or before you can get to a full-throated, thank you, Jesus, I won the lottery, there's a measure of engagement and participation needed. So what I want to speak to today on this first Sunday of Christmas is to get to full-throated praise and song of Jesus, it behooves us to look at our engagement and preparation. Not just today, but tomorrow too. To look at our level of engagement and participation to contribute to full-throated praise and song in response to God's love, in response to the advent of Jesus, in response to our faith. And if you had anything of a year like I had in 2020, you might feel ready for a little song and praise. You might want huge heapings of Christmas joy. Getting there, getting there, we do well to look at, to examine our engagement and our praise, our engagement and participation. To engage, to participate fully in their religious journey in our text today, we're going to read Luke the second chapter, verses 22 through 40. Luke, the second chapter, verses 22 through 40. To engage and participate in a life of faith, contributing to their full-throated praise and song in response to Jesus. When eight days had passed, Jesus' parents circumcised him and gave him the name Jesus. This was the name given to him by the angel before he was conceived. When the time came for their ritual cleansing in accordance with the law for Moses, they brought Jesus up to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. It's written in the law of the Lord, every firstborn male will be dedicated to the Lord. They offered a sacrifice in keeping with what's stated in the law of the Lord, a pair of turtle doves or two young pigeons. A man named Simeon was in Jerusalem. He was righteous and devout. He eagerly anticipated the restoration of Israel, and the Holy Spirit rested on him. The Holy Spirit revealed to him that he wouldn't die before he had seen the Lord Christ. Led by the Spirit, he went into the temple area. Meanwhile, Jesus' parents brought the child to the temple so that they could do what was customary under the law. Simeon took Jesus in his arms and praised God. He said, Now, Master, let your servant go in peace according to your word, because my eyes have seen your salvation. You prepared the salvation in the presence of all peoples. It's a light for revelation to the Gentiles and glory for your people Israel. His father and mother were amazed by what was said about him. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, his mother, this boy is a sign to be the cause of the falling and rising of many in Israel and to be a sign that generates opposition so that the inner thoughts of many will be revealed and a sword will pierce your innermost being too. 
There was also a prophet, Anna, the daughter of Phanuel, who belonged to the tribe of Asher. She was very old. After she married, she lived with her husband for seven years. She was now an 84-year-old widow. She never left the temple area, but worshiped God with fasting and prayer night and day. She approached at that, that very moment and began to praise God and to speak about Jesus to everyone who was looking forward to redemption, to the redemption of Israel. When Mary and Joseph had completed everything required by the law of the Lord, they returned to their hometown, Nazareth in Galilee. The child grew up and became strong. He was filled with wisdom and God's favor was on him. Holy wisdom, holy word, thanks be to God. Both Simeon and Anna are religious. Simeon was righteous and devout. The Holy Spirit rested on him. The Holy Spirit revealed to him that he wouldn't die before he had seen the Lord's Christ. Led by the Spirit, he went into the temple area. He took Jesus in his arms and launched into full-throated praise and song. Anna, I want to jump down in the text to Anna. Anna was a prophet too. She was 84 years old. She never left the temple, we read. She worshiped God with fasting and prayer night and day, 84 years old, still engaging in her ministry, 84 years old, still praying and fasting. She too began to praise God and to speak about Jesus to everyone who is looking forward to the redemption of Israel. In both examples, Simeon and Anna, we see this engagement, we see this participation. And after much time and engaging and participating in acts of faith, they are ready for full-throated praise and song in regard to Jesus. Now, classic Luke here, we get both a male and female example. May we be examples. May our engagement and participation in a life of faith spill into our song, our praise. As we, with Jesus, share in falling and rising, let us embrace Jesus with the living of our lives. May we enter full-throated praise and song in the name of Jesus. Not, thank you, Jesus, I won the lottery, which is all about me, 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 me but praise and song for the very life of the world on behalf of the whole world. There's a, uh, a site in Spain called the Camino de Santiago, or the Way of St. James. And it's a pilgrimage. It goes back to the Middle Ages, the site. And there's many trails to get to the end of this pilgrimage. But most people do the main trail, which takes 30 to 35 days. Yeah, so it takes a lot, a lot of commitment, about nine miles a day. So to experience the joy and the fruit of this pilgrimage, there's a lot of engagement and participation that most can't rise to. How would you rate your faith walk? How engaged are you? How much do you participate? How lacking is your full-throated praise and song? The church has a tradition, not this church, but the universal church, has a has a tradition that comes out of our text today. Uh, Luke, the second chapter, verses 22 through 40, it's called the Nuke Dimittis, coming from the Latin 
now you are dismissed. Some call it the Song of Simeon. And our own uh, BJ, our new uh, music leader, uh, will present this song. There's many versions of it, and he will present it in plain song. Now, Lord, you let your servant go in peace. Your word has been fulfilled. My own eyes have seen the salvation which you have prepared in the sight of every people, a light to reveal you to the nations and the glory of your people Israel. Glory to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and shall be forever. May we all be dismissed, as the new Dimitis, Dimitis says, may we all be dismissed to do what Jesus frees us to do with full-throated praise and song of Jesus. May the joy be ours in any weather, regardless of the season. A popular phrase is, get in where you fit in. And today, a little bit after this worship service, we will have an ordination installation service for the officer class of 2023, elders and deacons. And as part of that liturgy, we say these words that we have one body, many parts. Many parts, one body. Oh, you get in where you fit in. Many parts, one body. You get in where you fit in. You get in where you fit in. Your praise might not look like my praise. Simeon's praise did not look like Anna's praise. Anna's praise did not look like Simeon's praise. In Luke, the 10th chapter, verse 21, we see Jesus go into a static, a static praise. Your praise might not look like my praise. Your song definitely sounds better than my song. We get in where we fit in. The commonality is that we're looking at, that we're serious about, that we're digging into our engagement and participation so that together as we enter 2021, so together we as the church, we as followers of Jesus, we who celebrate the birth of Jesus, we who celebrate the advent of Jesus, all of us can enter together in full-throated praise of Jesus, making the difference in a broken world. It is our engagement and our participation over time that adds to our ability to ring out in full-throated praise and song to the glory of God, God with us, Jesus, the Holy Spirit over us, full-throated praise to the glory of God. Amen. How can I say thanks for the things you have done for me? Things so undeserved, yet you gave to prove your love for me. The voices of a million angels could not express my gratitude, all that I
With his power, he has raised me to God be the glory for the things he has done. Just let me live my Let it be pleasing, Lord, to Thee. And if I gain any praise, let it go to Calvary with His blood. With his power, he has raised me to God be the glory for the things he has done. We continue in worship on this first Sunday in Christmas. Merry Christmas, by the way. Let us pray. God of life, God of new life, by the birth of Jesus you have brought light into our darkness. Shine in our lives. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for ministry. Set us free for for full participation. Set us free for full-throated praise. God of life, God of new life, nothing will ever separate us from your love. Give us faith to trust your promise, Christ Jesus, by your coming. Set us free for ministry. Set us free to engage. Set us free for full-throated praise and song. God of life, God of new life, you call us to serve the hungry, the poor, the lonely, and the outcast. Show us how we can respond. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for ministry. God of life, God of new life, Jesus born into poverty and lived under oppression, open our eyes to injustice and inspire us to proclaim your reign, Christ Jesus, by your coming. Set us free for ministry. Set us free for engagement. Set us free for participation. Set us free for full-throated praise and song in honor of you. God of life, God of new life, by the birth of Jesus, bring your healing to those in need especially those whom we name before you. Freddie Jackson, Harold Carr, Ida, Donald, parents in hospice, Lord God, In your care, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free for ministry. God of life, God of new life, inspire this congregation to reach out beyond our walls, to reach out into the cyberspace, beyond our fears, beyond our past. Help us to welcome your future. Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free, set us free, set us free. God of life, God of new life, by the birth of Jesus, you have brought us light. Share in our lives, Christ Jesus, by your coming, set us free. Set us free, set us free, set us free. We pray in your name, our light, our life, our hope, praying in the way that we have been taught to pray, saying together aloud with strength. Our Father in heaven, hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as in heaven. 
Give us today our daily bread. Forgive us our sins as we forgive those who sin against us. Save us from the, from the time of trial and deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Amen. Uh, friends, after I share the blessing and uh, a poem, we will stay tuned if you are joining us on Zoom, uh, stay tuned for an ordination installation service for the class of 2023. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord be kind and gracious to you. The Lord look upon you with favor and give you peace. Amen. Hear this poem by Ken Nesbitt. A BB gun, a model plane, a basketball, electric train, a bicycle, a cowboy hat, a comic book, a baseball bat, a deck of cards, a science kit, a racing car, a catcher's mitt. So that's my list of everything that Santa Claus forgot to bring. A poem against the materialism of our Christmas by Ken Nesbitt. Thank you. <laughs> 